Welcome back to episode 20. Good round number to be fitting the rear X pack kit. Um, I have primed in round the bare steel where I fitted the tub. Um, I'm going to hit it with a coat of paint here shortly before I start fitting the actual kit to the car. Um, speaking to a body shop and they have recommended that I just key the paint the whole way around where the edges are touching and where the panel bond is going to go. Um, they didn't like the idea of putting the panel bond on on bare steel. Um, so I've just keyed the paint. There's a good thick coat of paint on the car. So I've keyed it back and once I get this area here treated um, and painted, it's go stations really. Um, so yeah, here goes nothing. Right, just doing one last check of the kit to make sure all's good um, before I commit <laughs> to putting the panel bond on and um, I have it lined up in the couple of holes that I measured from the first time whenever I got the measurements off Thomas Howard so now that's done take it off work out how the flip to use this panel bond and no going back then really is there it has to go on some shape or form so yeah there it goes Okay, another day of the screws out and I have tidied up the over uh, kill that I put on at the start. The adhesive seems to have stuck. Um, it is a wee bit tacky, but I did panic at the start, but I looked up the data sheet for the adhesive and it actually says, do not worry. <laughs> it will be a bit tacky on the surface. So that's okay, I'm happy enough with that now. Um, the next stage is to plug all these holes up that the screws were in. Uh, the paint man has advised me to fill those with body filler. Let them harden and sink and then he'll go over it again whenever he's doing the rest of the blending in and stuff over the kit to, let the, to give it a second coat. So overall that's fairly fairly happy with that really. Um, it seems to be rock solid. So, um, 
just need to get on and do the other side now. Just for reference for you, this is how much wider an X-Pack kit is than a standard car. There's the fuel filler flap in the position it should be whenever the, the kit's on. And there's the tub prior to being welded. It's just tech screwed up in currently. Very cursely, but it does the job. Um, the, there's a wee bit of rust down here as well that I need to tackle. Or is that a wee bit of rust? Probably end up being this whole flipping thing that's being replaced. But yeah, I'll tackle that again. Um, so I that's where I'm at at the moment. Um, the next thing you'll see is me hopefully fitting this side. And that should in theory be the back end done. So on to the next bit. Okay, so rust all fixed. Didn't film it because uh, basically I just wanted to get it done. Didn't have the willpower to start and film it. Um, the kit is trial fitted. I have it all lined up again and measured in all the wee screw holes. So in theory, I need to take this kit back off now and rinse and repeat what we did in the far side. Uh, get the sealer on and just get all the clamp on screws put in. So. Onwards. kit mounted. I'm a very happy choppy. Um, my problem was near the end because these stupid tech screws have been in and out that many times trial fitting and fitting the other side the threads on them are starting to get weak so hence why there's 
it's like a flipping pin cushion in some places but that'll all fill over i'll be able to get at that from the back and put a bit of metal in behind it and fill over the top um that will probably do me for this episode um i hope that gives you a bit of an insight into how i fitted the kit I'm not saying it's how to fit the kit but <laughs> I took advice from a couple of different people and they seem to know what they're at, so I'm fairly happy with how it's turned out. The far side, now that all the screws are out, is solid as a rock. You couldn't pull it off if you wanted to, so that's what we're aiming for. Um, now it's down to the body man to just blend it all in nicely for me and get it all looking good. Um, the next task really is to start into the engine bay. I've already made a bit of a start welding up holes and stuff. Um, I have a couple of holes there, whatever, that somebody has cut out with a pair of scissors or something, by the looks of it. Um, all need tidied up, bits welded in, a couple of brackets to cut off, and this lovely piece of work here. I don't know what they were doing here, but I need this all cleaned back and assessed to see what's in behind it. Um, that'll probably be the next one. So, until then, if you've enjoyed what you're seeing, hit the like button, hit the share button, subscribe. And if you do hit the subscribe button, hit the wee bell beside it so you're notified of any new videos. Um, yeah. See you in the next one. Bye.